Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We got some information about what is coming today in FIFA Ultimate Team, and that is the Team of the Year vote. You guys saw the tweet from EA Sports yesterday. We're going to be taking a look at the Team of the Year vote, all stuff relating to that today, market movements that happened because of that tweet release from EA, and what could we see today on the market because of that actual vote coming out. Now, again, it is rewards day as well. So we have a lot of just uncertainty on the market right now based off of this tweet that was put out yesterday by EA Sports. I'm going to show you guys again. This is what you already know. This is the little video that EA released today. Just a little bit of a um, insignia of the team of the year badge. Voting opens tomorrow. And then honestly, I don't know if you guys heard it, but at the very end of this video, it says in the song, it says like something about something you've never seen seen before. So I don't know if that's just EA putting like a song and some lyrics behind this little promo video or if that actually is going to mean something, something we've never seen before with team of the year. And my best bet is we're going to have more than just 12 team of the year players in packs this year inside of FIFA. So that is what we are looking for today, right? We're looking for this vote. I would imagine they tweeted this out two hours before the content dropped today. I would imagine that whatever this vote is, it could actually come out before 6 p.m. UK unless they actually want it to come out as part of the 6 p.m. content. This could actually come pre-content drop time today. So I just want to remind you guys about what happened last year with FIFA 20 and how the voting took place last year. Now, obviously, we remember these nominee cards. They surprised us on the first day of Footmas last year with these nominee items. They put them into packs. These cards that were plus one boosts over uh, the rating of their base gold card. So like all these guys, it was basically the UCL cards of FIFA 19, just the plus one boost in every stat category and a plus one on the face card stat as well. Now, now, some people are talking about, are these cards coming today inside of FIFA 21? Here's my thought on that. As of right now when I'm recording this video, we do not have a pack code or anything related to Team of the Year nominees. As far as I'm concerned, Team of the Year card design and Team of the Year nominee card design has not been put in the pack code yet. We have not seen any tweets from Footwatch or anything like that. And if Team of the Year nominees were going to come into packs today on Thursday, I by the way, like those cards coming into packs on a Thursday, that just does not make sense to me. Possibly on a Friday, on a promo Friday, yes. But I would wait and, and see if we have anything added to the pack code or to the uh, card design code in the game via a Footwatch tweet before saying or before thinking that those cards would actually come into packs today. But I am 100% expecting to see some sort of website opening today. Now again, it's EA Sports on a website drop, right? Right away when that when that when that web page drops, you know that it's going to probably go down. It's going to say 404 does not exist and you're going to have some issues with it. So uh, that's kind of what I'm expecting today. And one thing to remember about Team of the Year, I was just reminded about this when I went back and I looked at um, some stuff that EA did for Team of the Year in the past. EA goes all out with Team of the Year. I don't know if you remember like the, the actual reveal video of some of the Team of the Year items. I think it's on one of these tabs that I have open right here. Yeah, it's like the FIFA 20 Team of the Year reveal trailer. They put a whole trailer together with these Team of the Year cards. Um, and this is like the only promo that they go this far all out for. Team of the Season, they go all out with too. But Team of the Year is just something that they go above and beyond with. Uh, with the cards in the game, with the promo inside of, you know, the just the hype behind what they do with Team of the Year inside of the game. So that's kind of what I'm expecting today along uh, alongside of the Team of the Year voting stuff is I'm just kind of expecting a web page. I'm expecting some sort of voting site where we get to place our votes. Now let's talk, let's talk time frame a little bit because, and I really don't have a calendar to pull up, but as of right now, we are in the headliners promo, uh, which is going until the this Friday. Headliners team one is going until this Friday. Um, and it doesn't even say anything about headliners being in packs. Here it is. Headliners team one are now in packs for one day, 16 hours. So until Friday at 6 p.m., these headliners are in packs. We know that we have a team two that is coming out. Uh, let me just open the actual web page right here. FIFA 21 Ultimate Team headliners. We know that there is a team two that is going to be coming out in packs tomorrow on Friday, but 
That does not say how long those cards are going to be in packs. This might be one of those two-week promos where it's actually a week and a half, and the week two is um, just a promo until Tuesday, or week two could be just like we had with the freeze cards um, earlier this year. Our team two of freeze cards was literally just five players that they put into packs for a couple days. They could do that sort of thing with headliners as well. They can kind of do whatever they want to do with this second set of headliners. So here's my thinking for a timeline. I don't know if you guys can see this little, um, yeah, there's a little bit of a calendar over here, but it's kind of off screen. Um, here's what I'm thinking for a timeline. So this is just my guess. This is, again, not confirmed, but this is what I could see happening. A team of the year vote. Last year, it took eight days or, or seven days, like basically a week we had to vote for these cards, and it was in middle of December, right? We're obviously way past that point. In my opinion, I feel like we are getting this vote today, and this vote is probably going to either last one of two different time periods. It's going to be another one-week-long vote, and the vote is going to last until next Thursday, or it's going to be a just a weekend vote and the vote is going to close on Monday. And then that would tell me alongside of whatever happens with headliners team two, whether we're going to be getting the team of the year cards on Friday of this next week. So the 15th of January, or whether we'll get it on Monday, the 18th. Now I, I went back and looked in the past, literally team of the year has started on a Monday uh, every single year in like it's the history of team of the year. It started on a Monday, just about every single year of team of the year. So that would make me think that the 18th would be the actual date of team of the year, unless EA wanted to do something different, like they kind of hinted at in that video. So there's a lot to just that's unknown right now. And I don't think it's, it's not worth it to really try to sit down and think like what is exactly going to happen? Cause you're probably not going to guess it. Um, I mean, we've put out some good thinking scenarios out there already, but we'll probably find out a lot more today when EA does tweet that stuff out and we get a, um, a web page that we can vote on cards from and stuff like that. But with that announcement yesterday, what happened to the market? You saw a lot of, bet you guessed it, plant panic selling. There was a lot of cards that went down on the market and I'm serious. There were two things that caused panic yesterday. It was that team of the year loading screen a little bit or the team of the year vote, not necessarily loading screen, but that tweet. And also you saw a um, new icon base or mid icon upgrade that was released in the game as well. So this is Virgil van Dyke card was one of the cards that was panic sold big time today. He was about 200,000 coins right before the content drop. Is that still there? Uh, wow, that Virgil at 205 is sitting there. It's really not flippable for profit, but this guy went from 190,000 coins all the way up to 220 because of the links to the new showdown SBCs and also um, be just because of normal panic selling. There's a lot of stuff that got panic sold today. I think it was because of that base icon, but also it kind of started with the team of the year vote knowing that it was coming today. Now, I want to say a few things, right? Rewards today. I'm still feeling decently confident in the market because, you know, in the way that my mind thinks, today is a day where people aren't saving their packs, right? Yeah, we know team of the year is coming, right? We now know it's confirmed that it's coming. We're not getting, you know, screwed over for no team of the year this year, but we don't still, we don't know what date it actually is until today. People can't hold their rewards when there's a special card like Bruno Fernandez in packs that people are willing to pay 2 million coins for. I don't really think people are holding rewards today. So in my opinion, I think that you're still going to see a decent market rise today. I do feel like some people will be a bit more hesitant to buy than last week, right? Last week, no team of the year was in our minds. It was headliners promo and stuff went up massively, right? The market went up a lot last week in all areas. I feel like it might not be as great as last week, but I still feel, still feel like you will see a market rise in the game. So that's why I'm almost, I was fully invested in Thursday flips and I got a nice lazy sale on a Bruno Fernandez. So I'm going to have to go back out on the market and try to find a few deals before rewards here in the next couple of hours to try to make some coins. But I still think you'll see a market rise today, but I think one thing you might see is some panic selling pre 6 p.m. And I want to talk through that because if you see panic selling before 6 p.m. content today on Thursday, unless EA drops something sick and drops something huge, I think this sort of panic would be something that you might be able to buy into as like a double dip for a Thursday flipping investment, unless we get some crazy information about team of the year, like that it's going to be this Friday or something like that, that would be absolutely absurd, to be honest. 
Um, I feel like all the panic selling that you would see today would be misguided and it would be, I guess what you could say or call just wrong, honestly, because if people are panic selling because of a team of the year vote that literally does not impact the market at all because there's no nominees that are impacts yet, if that's the case for today, and if it's just basically business as normal, we have a team of the year vote, no big SBC comes out in the game, and there's panic selling because of that vote, that vote literally does not impact the market at all in the terms of that vote probably isn't over until after the weekend. So for a normal weekend league rise, you might see people panic selling into 6 p.m. today, and if there is no content, and if the stuff comes out in the game and the vote is basically just a vote, maybe we learn a few things about the dates for team of the year, but if it looks like nothing is happening this weekend, no nominees coming into packs or anything like that, then I would say thumbs up, right? Buy some cards that are still low or maybe that rise a little bit after rewards and come back down. I think you would see stuff rise even further into the morning on Friday and at night Thursday and morning on Friday. That's probably why I, why, uh, if my cards don't go up that much, I probably will be taking the coins. If they don't go up that much, I might just end up holding through today until 6 p.m. But I feel like you're going to have a lot of people that will not want to hold. Um, and they'll start to sell these cards early and they'll start to panic sell because of a team of the year vote. So just kind of put that on your minds. Now, again, content for today, what am I expecting? I don't really know if I'm expecting a lot. We've had a decent week of content in the past two days with the John Stones SBC that's moved the market. Uh, we had the Milan and the Kleiber right back card, which I actually did. And again, one thing to remember is right mids and right backs on this game right now are in a very interesting position because so many people have this lineup right here. They've got Robin at right mid and Kleiber at right back. Now I did both of these SBCs as well. Um, and kind of just because I only did Kleiber because that's kind of the only way that you can link Robin, right? And that was kind of a thing that EA, um, EA is really, really smart with that sort of stuff. They knew that so many people did Robin uh, and they knew that if they released another right back like that, they'd be able to get a lot of people to do that SBC. And that's why you saw players like Dumfries today um, become unextinct, if that's a word, because people who are holding this Dumfries, there's now another card in the game that everybody was going to get. Uh, now, this card is kind of fluctuating around a little bit, but it's around 25, 26,000 coins after being extinct at 32K. Uh, and Nobody really wants this card now. Not many people do because they'd rather have that SBC Cliver. So other right backs in the game are down a lot today. It's crazy to see that even cards like Prime Zambrata. Now it makes sense a little bit because if you were trying to link, um, you know, Robin before, you might have been using an icon right back to just get a, a soft link at least to a player like Robin and then maybe try to get another... Um, uh, Netherlands link to Robin, but this guy uh, Zambrato was over 900,000 coins this uh, earlier today on Thursday, and he's down. Sorry, earlier on Wednesday, he was down at 820,000 coins, dropped 100,000 coins in one day because of that Kleiber right back. You had other right backs that were down a lot today. I was looking across the market, and it was Kyle Walker's gold card who was inflated because of the. Uh, John Stone's SBC, he was up to 60K. Now, I think I think this Kyle Walker is back down to 47. You still might see a guy like this rise a little bit with weekend league rewards today, but a lot of the right backs in this game did take a hit today. Bruno Perez rode to the final. We were looking at on stream. They did take a hit because of that Kleiber card that came out, and so many people that are running with those Dutch links, with those Eredivisie links. So just be careful. You know, like this Van Dyke to me seems a little bit overinvested. The fact that he was 220 earlier tonight uh, and was selling there consistently, I told a few, a few people to sell, man, because I thought this might be a situation where this Van Dyke card isn't as hyped up as he has always been. Um, and today I could see two things happening. I see his price staying the same or possibly even dipping a little bit lower because people use Van Dyke in FIFA um, and Van Dyke could be a nice link between your John Stones SBC you just did and the Kleiber right back. But, um, you know, I just don't know how many people want to go out and buy this card right now, especially new people that haven't bought it already because so many people have invested when he was 190. Now he's up to 216. So I'm just being careful with that. Um, but again, for the markets today, I do think you will see a decent rise and I'm hoping for that. And then you also might see some panic again around the 6 p.m. time frame. Last thing I want to talk about today is these cards right here, headliners. They're down a lot. They're down big. And some people would say they're down bad. Look at Ben Yedder, 875,000 coins 
for Ben Shetter, who has literally dropped about 50K in the last few hours. He was 930 a few hours ago. Now he's down to 878. Uh, a big drop on Ben Yetter. Now, one thing I'll say about this card is, and even a Joao Felix, these guys have dropped off so much today, they're not going to get packed that much at rewards. One thing we often see with the brand new team of the week is, is we see those cards get packed at rewards and then they bounce back. Except for the high tier items, maybe like Ronaldo, you know, in a normal team of the week where you have a very high rated player, sometimes they get panic sold off. They get cheap before rewards because people are expecting them to get packed. But actually, there's a lot of demand for that item and they rebound afterwards. I would be careful with this Ben Yetter because uh, they did win today. So they're on a one game win streak, um, which is good. That is very good. And this guy really has gotten sold off a lot in the past 24 hours because, I mean, look at this man. He was literally a million coins. Um at rewards time on Wednesday. So 24 hours before rewards, he was a million. And right now he's 878. Like how low is too low on a card like this, who was one of the most popular uh, players and strikers in the game. You could argue that he's been overpriced already because his inform is, is 279,000 coins, which by the way, that's looking kind of cheap. Um, you know, if people really wanted to join the Ben Yedder hype train, this isn't too bad of a price because he was basically 300k this morning, went back to 270, and is now back up to 290. So I'm going to take a look at Ben Yedder at the moment. But um, I, I do think that on some of the lower tier headliner cards today, you will see them. Um, you will see them get packed, but you're all, also going to see a lot of people try to invest in them today. Amavi, Hinter, uh, what's his name? Hinterregger? Yes, the center back Hinteregger. You might see cards like that actually get invested in today as they do get kind of cheap. Mkhitaryan as well. Um, Roma are on a two-game win streak right now, but they have two big-time opponents coming up in the next few days. I told my chat tonight on Twitch, link down below in the description if you don't watch the Twitch streams, come hang out if you want. But uh, this Mkhitaryan card, um, if Roma can somehow beat Inter, this guy is going to fly on Saturday because they play on the 10th. That's something to keep your eyes on because this might get forgotten about a little bit if there's team of the year hype kind of going around. So definitely keep an eye on that right there. And then one thing I want to mention too, unrelated to anything except SBC fodder, uh, is ex that exactly that. SBC fodder on rewards days. 86s right now are 26,000 coins because of the SBCs that are out. SPC fodder is very high. Watch this stuff during rewards. This gets overlooked every single rewards day. This stuff is going to drop in the first couple hours with all the tradable packs opened. And then people get their rewards coins. They get their stuff. They go and do the base or mid icon. They go and do maybe the Kleiber or the Malin SPC. And boom, this stuff can, you know, make a nice little V and flip and go back up into the daytime, especially if people think we're getting another player SPC today or something like that, which we've only gotten one headliner SBC. We could be in for another one today on Thursday. So just keep an eye on SBC fodder, especially 84s, because they're going to be decently packable. Like if you saw a guy like this Brozovic, who has 9,000 coins at the moment, if you would see him dip back down to like 6,500 or 7,000 on bid, possibly, I mean, basically where he was, I think probably on Wednesday before the content dropped, I mean, this guy, so if you see him in like the low sevens, I mean, he was up at 9K. You probably don't expect him to go back to 9.5K, but maybe he goes up to like 9K flat. And if he goes back down to 7K, you can grab a bunch of those and expect a little bit of a rebound into the morning because that happens with SBC fodder a lot. Just make sure, of course, that you're buying the ones with good leagues, good nations, and all that jazz. So it's going to be an interesting Thursday today on FIFA. Again, Twitch channel down below. I will be live around 6 p.m. today on Thursday looking at the new content that we get, doing a team of the year vote, and having a lot of fun stuff with that. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.